Hello everybody and welcome all of you back to another Fortnite Barrier video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to reduce input delay on console. Before this video starts, hope you do enjoy it. Consider dropping a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and also make sure you are using code TDOGEX in the Fortnite item shop. Hashtag add there. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so first thing you need to go ahead and do, if you do want to go ahead and reduce your input delay, is you need to go into your settings, you need to go into your video settings, which will be the first one that'll pop up, and then go to motion blur. It's going to be by on default, it's going to be off, and you need to, need to go and turn it off. This is definitely going to help. It's going to mean when you look around, it's just going to mean there's less input delay going around, your game's having to register and less stuff, less work for your console to go ahead and do. I believe this does also apply to people that are playing on PC as well. Of course, it may not affect you as much on PC. Uh, I believe some of these tips will actually, majority of these tips, if not, will help you, even if you are on PC or on console. But this course is mainly for people on console, as there is much less customizable options for people on console. The second thing on this list, probably the most important one of them all, is you need to go into your game settings, that's the second one. So go into your settings and go to game settings. You need to scroll all the way down to replays. Make sure all your replays are off. You want to have record replays is off, record large team replays off, record creator mode replays off. This is going to significantly speed up your game. It's going to mean there's less like work your console's having to do in the background. So it's not me recording anything. Same, of course, with your PC. Third thing on this list, you want to go to settings. You want to go to game settings and you will scroll all the way down to building. And then you'll make sure you've got confirm, edit and release on. Having this on, it's just going to skip a step for you to do. It's going to help speed up your edit. So I definitely advise doing this if you haven't already. It may take some time to get used to. But you will get used to it, and it's just really, really will just help speed up your edits. Okay, so we've got the fourth thing on this list. You need to go to settings, of course. Then you need to go all the way to audio. And you need to visualize sound effects. And you make sure that has an off. Of course, if you do actually need it on, then have it on. But if you don't need it on, have it off. It just really doesn't help you at all in any way. It just slows down your game. It makes your game have to register more spin. It's not a massive difference. But every like, tip in this video, if you do all of them, you are definitely going to notice the game is going to be moving smoother. So definitely advice turning visualized sound effects off does not help you out in any way. Then for the fifth thing we've got on this list, it's actually one that not as many people know about. You need to go into your settings again, and you want to go all the way over to audio as well. And then you want to scroll down to subtitles. If you actually click on this, you've got all these subtitles, you see all of them on. You want to turn them all down to the lowest setting. It's just extra, it's just extra things your game has to like load up. You'll make sure all of that's gone. The, the subtitles when they pop up may not look as nice, but your game is just going to run slightly smoother and every little bit helps, especially if you do want to play competitive Fortnite. Everything you can do is just going to help you in the long run. So definitely would advise turning that setting off. Just turn them all down to the lowest. It's really not worth having on. It does not help you in any way, shape, or form. So the last thing on this list, you want to go to your settings. You want to go all the way down to your controller settings. Controller option settings, it is called. Then you want to scroll down to your dead zone. And you want to have your dead zone as low as possible. Dead zone is basically just how much you need to move your controller for it to respond. Uh, you want this for newer controllers. You want to have this literally just at five, six, is anywhere below 10 preferably. The older your controller is, you are going to want to have this higher. But I would advise having it as low as you possibly could. It means you have to put less effort into your builds, less effort to do your edits. It's going to definitely help speed up your things overall. And it's probably one of the more important things on this list. This will, of course, apply to people that are on PC or that are just playing on console. They're going to be more effective for console people. Just want to say thank you to everybody who did manage to make it this far throughout the video. If you did enjoy this video at any point or did find any bit of it useful, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm streaming daily at 7pm UK time. I try to make this video literally as short and as simple as I possibly could, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you do find it useful, um, comment below, like, yeah, to say I found it useful, something like that. Really appreciate all of you for watching, and without further ado, see you on the next one. Bye.